Ja, vi fortsätter att hitta intressanta människor här på Future Perfects öfestival. Och nu har jag stött ihop med Laila. Uh, Laila, tell me what, what, what are you doing? I work, I'm here at Future Perfect because I work for a charity, Trade, and we're a textile recycling charity. We collect clothes across the UK for reuse and resale. And the, we do that because we want to reduce waste and reduce demand on our new materials. The profit that we make from that, we put back into the textile supply chain. So we fund projects across the globe that are working with people and organizations to reduce the environmental impacts of the fashion industry and to improve the workers in the fashion industry's lives. Uh, we also run an education program that I am in charge of and that's working with schools and with young people and with our customers to talk more about valuing our clothing, understanding where it's coming from in order to make better choices about the clothing that we buy and also to encourage people to sew their own clothing, to mend their own clothing so that we're keeping the clothes that we have for longer and getting more out of them. And you're also working with some of the big uh, classical um, uh, fashion brands. Is, that, is it possible to work with them and still not make this into a greenwash thing? We, we work with brands in different ways. So we collect clothing from the general public and that can be from any kind of brand. We also ask brands if they have clothing within their processes that they're no longer using, that they can donate pre-consumer straight to us. So we work with some very big brands in the UK to do that to reduce their waste. We're happy to take their clothing to get charitable profit out of it. Mm. It means that we can do good with clothing that otherwise would have gone to landfill. I think as a charity, we just have to be honest about the m clothing that we're taking and knowing that taking the clothing from a brand doesn't mean that we can't criticize their behavior. And if they are doing something that we disagree with and we feel like we should say something about it, that we're still free to do that. So uh, they know that by donating to us, it doesn't mean that we don't say what they're doing wrong. The other way that we're working with brands is that the projects that we fund around the world are working in the supply chain, the very supply chain that those brands are sourcing from. In that way, we're actually helping them because we're really funding change that they should be funding. And in some cases, brands have directly benefited from work that we have funded. And, you know, that's good for them. And in some ways it's difficult for us because we think, well, you know, they should have paid for it. But at least the change is happening. Thank you very much.